Okay, here we are with the first breakdown of 2024, uh, the calendar year that is. And we're going to be taking a look at today a player was a key player during the 2023 season at the beginning of his journey to the NFL, and that's Tanner Borlini. Uh, Tanner is one of those guys that I think uh, we could all say maybe a little bit, I was a little bit too harsh on throughout the season. Justifiable. You know, that's up for debate. I mean, he had a job, and his snapping was not perfect, but it got better as the season went on. Um, and he was always a consistent blocker. And I think I will say here right at the beginning, I think he was put in a bad situation. Because for some reason, and I don't know, you guys can ex help explain this to me, how... Wisconsin went into the offseason, exiting the 2022 season, going into 2023 without a center on the roster who could compete at the Division I level and snap the football at the same time. I don't care how much Wisconsin played under center in the past. You still have to be able to shotgun snap. And why there was not a legitimate true center on the roster that could do it. We'll never know. You know, God bless Dylan Barrett, but I guess he just couldn't do it. Um, so Tanner, being the most versatile lineman on the roster, was asked to step into that role. He has played center in the past, and he did admirably. His snaps got progressively better throughout the season. I wouldn't say they ever got to the great uh, level, but he was consistent, and that's all we can ask for. Uh, from him, given the situation. So here we are now from this last weekend in Mobile at the Senior Bowl, and he got a lot of playing time. He played multiple spots. He played both guard spots. He played center, and I think he did okay. I mean, you look at you look at the people who spend their days breaking down uh, the draft prospects, and it sounds like he made himself some money, maybe solidified himself as an early third day, maybe late second day pick. Uh, who knows? Let's see how he does at the uh, the pro day and in his workouts leading up to it. But here we go. So here we are in the first series for the national team. He was the starter at left guard. And we're just going to kind of go through it. Obviously, these plays, uh, the, the camera isn't designed to focus on offensive linemen. But we're going to do our best and at least have, have some comments on what he does in every play. We won't break down the, as much the rest of the play, but just see what he's kind of doing here. All right, so first play coming up, uh, first and 10 from the 25-yard line. Everything's going to be in a two-by-two two set, so we're not going to worry about formations or anything like that. Starting at left guard. Okay, working to set and hinge Okay, off of the flea flicker. So we want to sell run action, and then we want to hinge our hips and just make sure we don't give up penetration. I think he does an okay job at that. Look one more time. Inside hand on LSU. Outside hand looking for Kentucky. That's pretty good, working in combo with the guard, or the center, excuse me. And this is where he's going to shine. You know, he is going to be a good double teamer uh, with a capable center, a capable guard uh, at the next level. So not bad. Not a great throw. All right, next play here, working outside zone, does a pretty good job climbing to the second level, good feet. Okay, maybe see him scoop out a little bit more. Obviously, that backside linebacker wasn't moving downhill that quickly, and the play was blown up on the front side by a, oh, it looks like we've got the right tackle in, or the right guard in the center blocking each other instead of blocking the three-tech. And 3-Tech blows it up. Oh, you hate to see that. But getting back to our guy, Tanner does a good job. He climbs to the second level, gets his guy sealed. Obviously, if we block that 3-Tech, three, that, three that ball's gone. Or a decent gain anyways. All right, so now we're at third and 14. Going to see a pass set. Okay, little top heavy. You know, I'd like to see him set a little bit lower here. Um, he's got help. He gets his outside arm trapped a little bit, which can be a no-no. But he 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 does anchor down here. 
Again, he's getting help from the from the center, which is good, but not bad. I'd like to see him anchor down just a little bit more. Okay, next up, next series, he is here. We go. He's at right guard now. Okay, got a pancake block on this one. Toro Owens down in the lower left hand corner of the screen. Okay, so we're running power. He's working the down block. So he's going to be working down here to the backside linebacker. Nobody there. But he just washes out this, this uh, three tech who tries to cross his face when he scoops down, keeps his hand on him, and sets up a nice cutback. Not bad. Again, he is going to be best when he's going to be in a system where he's going to be able to work in tandem with a, a good center next to him. I don't think he's going to be a center in the NFL. But I think he's going to be a capable guard moving on. All right, so here we go. First and 10. Right guard. Again, working the down block, doing a good job here of extending his backside hand off of the play action to kind of give that defensive lineman the, the sense that he, he's trying to climb around him and work outside zone to get him upfield. So essentially good body language here sets up this one tech and helps set up the play action going back the other way, watching it out. All right, that's good technique. Okay, next play here, we got a pull. Uh, he did this a few times last year, playing center. This is really good. Quick feet, working across with a little bit of downhill. Nice job of squaring up and getting his hands up and sealing off the lane. It's pretty good. Good quick hands, good quick feet. Okay, it's actually a really nicely set up play. Good job. All right, moving on. First and 10, or first and goal, excuse me. Pass blocking here. He didn't got much to do. You know, he's got his inside hand helping on the D tackle with his eyes up looking outside in case the right tackle needs help. Nothing really comes. So he looks kind of awkward there. Again, he kind of gets his, his left hand trapped a little bit. But there really isn't much for him to do there. So, you know, he keeps the, he's, he's in charge of the, of the A gap. He does his job, and we get the ball down to the two-yard line. Okay, so here we are again, two-yard line, down block, chipping, working the second level. Again, not much doing. Front side gets beat. We miss. I mean, they got four over three over here, so that kind of weird. It's going to leave somebody unblocked. Running back doesn't help much. So, again, I think he does his job. This D tackle and linebacker don't really affect the play. Obviously, the ball is going the other direction. All right, third and goal. I think we're going to get play action here, so you can work the down block. little slow. He's got to be careful with this. Again, we're going to sell full slide, outside zone stretch. And what we're hoping here on a play like this is, again, getting the defense to, to overflow and essentially block themselves. And when he's in a situation here where he doesn't really have anybody on the line of scrimmage, that can be tricky. You know, maybe I'd like to see him, since he's so far away, working more laterally down the line of scrimmage and to, to get overflow that comes across and, and cut that off, but the ball is out pretty quickly. So, again, he doesn't do anything bad on this to, to affect the outcome of the play. And the national team gets a touchdown. I'm sure P.J. Fleck is going to have a banner and a ring for this because a Minnesota guy scores a touchdown in the Senior Bowl because, of course. All right. So, Nationals on the board. Next series, Tanner is at center. Okay, with Sam Hartman and his wonderful beard and hair at quarterback. Let's see how we do. Okay, again, 
That same play action we've seen a couple times does a pretty good job here. Again, this can be tricky. We're going to snap, get into the block, and then we're going to hinge and try to run him around the backside, and Sam Hartman just underthrows that like crazy. Holy cow. Offensive line does a pretty good job setting up this play. Okay, runs him deep, makes him take the long way around the corner, and yeah. So one person doesn't execute. All right, second and 10. In the gun, let's see how we snap. Okay, a little slow. Ain't perfect, but good enough. Let's take a look at the block. Could be working double team. Hangs on his guy, does a pretty good job. He's got a nice first step. He always has. Snap, step, good body position. Might want to get a little bit lower and may or maintain that low uh, set. He is a little bit on the short side for an offensive lineman. You know, he's he's pushing 6'4". Not quite there. So if he gets – someone digs him out, that could cause some real problems, but – Good balance again, working in pretty good tandem with the uh, with the guard there, the Illinois guard. And again, that is where he is going to be at his best in a zone scheme, where he's working with Lyman next to him. All right, good. Uh, second and six. Open up the formation a little bit. Pass set again. Doesn't have much to do here, so he's just going to be working. He's got a gap. He's going to have his hand on the hip of the right guard looking at the middle linebacker initially nobody's coming so he's just going to be there just to make sure that that three tech can't step inside and just make him take the long way around does a pretty good job of that again pretty basic he's executing very soundly so far you know nothing flashy he's doing his job and to us as random fans that might not seem like a lot NFL offensive line coaches are going to appreciate this, going to appreciate the balance, going to appreciate, you know, the solid technique that he's showing. All right, here we go. First and 10. Okay, down block out of power. Again, nice quick feet. Eh, be careful with the placement of that left hand. But working a double with the backside tackle, the, le the right tackle. So Tanner's working to just wall off so he can't flow with the ball. The right tackle hopefully is going to try to get pushed, so the combination of the two is going to work him upfield. I think the right, the right tackle is a little late. So while technically we could say, you know, this little combination, again, and late the edge Comes down the line. Actually, Tanner does a nice job of at least recognize him. That edge guy does gets his gets his hand on the tackle, but that's not necessarily his job in this scheme. I think in a in a real world situation, you know, Hartman, if he wasn't thinking about his model good looks, he'd probably be keeping that ball. I mean, he's going to keep the ball later, but all right, moving on. Two by two, snap again. Not much doing, so he's going to be sliding to the back, inside hand, helping the guard, eyes up. Nobody's coming, so he can settle down and really help with that, that three tech, and then that's going to allow the guard to have his eyes outside a little bit more and help uh, if something's coming from the outside, a late blitz. And it's pretty set. And we're just running a little stick concept. Get some yards. All right, third and three. And the gun again. Hey, okay, snap. Not bad. Again, a little slow. Okay, Cameron can't find the ball. There you go. There's Hartman sliding. Okay, got to protect his assets. Let's look at the blocks. Okay, nice double team. I mean, let's take a look. You know, I said we weren't going to really look at this. I mean, he could have just handed that off and then the running back would have walked into the end zone. But, again, I guess all-star game. 
you know, thinking about our own self-interest. We're going to see later about how many times they're just trying to force the ball to one receiver. But anyways, we would have handed off like we should have. That double team was set up perfectly. But we didn't. No, we still got the first down. Hey, that's all right. All right, first and ten. Okay, again, pass protection. He's just sitting there helping. Again, he's he's got his eye here on the, uh, the middle linebacker. Nothing comes, so he's just going to work to seal off the inside of the three-tack just to make sure he doesn't come back inside. He doesn't, so he's just sitting there helping the guard. Again, back throw by Hartman. Second and ten. Okay, climbing up. Got a little bit. Got his hands a little bit too far out in front of his body, upper body. So when he doesn't really attach cleanly to this linebacker, this is what happens. Kind of falls forward. Okay, his initial takeoff is pretty solid. Again, he's, he's working three to linebacker. And he does a pretty good job here. Three doesn't come, works, gets there. He's just a little bit over his feet. Okay, third and five. Okay, again, another great job climbing to the next level. They're working RPO here. A package play. I mean, yeah, I guess it's more, more package play action. Again. The blocks are set up pretty good. Okay, this this uh, edge does squeeze, but I still think we can hand that off. Again, all star game. What can you do? But let's look inside here again. Step down, nothing there. Square up, nice body position. That was a that much better example of the same block that he kind of muffed on uh, last play. So that's looking pretty good. All right. So they kick a field goal, or they attempt field goal, and they miss it. We come back, they get a turnover to get the ball back. Now he's back at left guard. Pass pro does a pretty good job recovering. And Hartman throws interception. Tanner's got to make a play. Okay, pretty good. I mean, it takes a little bit of athletic ability for him to get out there. Yeah, kind of ugly. Pass block, does a pretty good job. Sets his hips. Okay, again, you could tell there, this is a situation where you can see where the, his lack of length is going to hurt him at some point. But if he sinks his hips and gets in good position, he can at least negate some of the power of the rush. And he does that there. And Hartman throws an interception because he's forcing it to UNC. He does that a lot in this game. All right. Now we're coming up next. These next few plays we're going to go pretty quickly because obviously it's time. It's the time in the Reese's Senior Bowl for the lengthy Reese's commercial. So we're going to have a cut in. So we're just going to watch this. It's going to work outside zone, stretch play. Does a good job stepping down. Okay, climb, digs him out a little bit. Okay, creates a cut back behind him. Okay, he doesn't quite get the full reach. But that's okay. Running back is a little bit, I would tell him to be a little more patient. A little bit too downhill in this takeoff. He might see those cutbacks a little bit better. Okay, next up, now we're at center. Down block. Okay, again, we are downing to a three. It's a long way to go, especially when it looks like they're trying to get some kind of stunt action. Top of the screen. So he doesn't really have anybody to block as the initial play hits. But his, you know, good quick feet out of his stance. Again, he, that's something he's good at. You know, a little bit, might have been a little bit over his feet. But when you have nobody to block, it's kind of hard to judge that. All right, third and eight now. Now we get the full screen again. Pass protection working inside. Okay. Now let's look at the slide real quick and see if that should have been where he should have been going. Okay, no, that's on quarterback. Okay, so this this rusher here, this is the quarterback's eyes. So the offensive line is going to be working two for two here, and then three for three here. Quarterback is in charge of here and here. 
because the back is going. So when the back is going, we got to go hot, and they do that. All right, let's look at what Tanner does here. Snap, again, a little slow. Crosses over his feet just a little bit. Okay, but recovers. A little top heavy. Let's set his hips down a little bit lower, but he does a pretty good job with that uh, defensive tackle trying to work across his face. Okay, next series, back at guard again, right guard. Okay, play action, does a nice job. Okay, gets his hands in good position, get nice and low. That's what he needs to be able to do. Get underneath and then dig out these bigger defensive tackles. Just a tad slow, and you can see he lets number 50 kind of get into his body a little bit, but, you know, he's working a double team even in, in play action, so he's got no worries that he's going to get through. And again, Hartman is just trying to force a ball to the same guy every single time. Okay, next play, still at center. In the gun, again, a little slow, but great block. Okay, completely washes him out. Okay, Diggs gets that left hand underneath and inside so now he has control so if the d tackle tries to work outside of him all he has to do is push that inside hand which he does and it finishes the wall off if he tries to stay square then he can easily just dig him out all right it's a pretty good job all right next up Okay, play action. Again, does it, you know, he's, he's showing really good feet. Works down, gets to the second level. Okay, on this RPO. Okay, so comboing. Maybe a little, little, little far into the combo to be working on the second level. You know, I might maybe want to pop out a half a step, especially right about there. There we know. Okay. But the ball's thrown anyways, so there's no threat of the run. Okay. We've got a little goal line sequence here. And he's at right guard. One-on-one. -on -one, stands his guy up. Holds his ground. Hartman forces the ball to UNC again. Next play. Okay, double team to the backer. And got the nice combo, gets to the second level, hand in the right place. You know, running back just goes against flow. Straight into the unblocked edge. Not where I would have went with the ball. Right, third down. Gone. Okay, so there, this might be his first real mistake. Okay, gets, you know, gets out, but he lets the D-tackle get to his body. So he has full use of his arms and his hands to create separation and then pull Tanner down because he gets a little bit low. And then his D-tackle sits, stands up there and makes the play. You know, takeoff is good, but upper body and hand placement is not. And that's what allows the D-tackle to make the shed and stop the ball. All right, and that kills that drive. And that was it. Was that it? That was it. Okay, so that was Tanner Bordellini at the Senior Bowl. Uh, I think he made the right decision to go out in the draft this year. Um, he's not a center. And if he would have stuck at Wisconsin again this year, he would have been a center. I think he showed today that he can play center. But I think what you're going to see is he has a chance to be a swing interior lineman at the next level, a uh, guy who could play both guard spots and could be a spot guy at center. Uh, it's going to be solid in the run game. Needs to improve, you know, some lateral quickness in the pass passing game. Needs to get a little bit better with keeping his balance uh, where he doesn't get too far over his feet. But 
I think if he's put in the right system and you give him the right offensive line coach, he's the type of guy who could carve out a nice little career in the NFL. So there we go. That's our first video of 2024, looking back at one of our key guys from 2023 as he begins his journey to the NFL. So that's all we got for today. Thank you for watching.